Now let us look at what is looked for during the 18 to 22 weeks anomaly scan. We look at different structures system wise head and brain, nuchal fold thickness, that means the thickness of the skin behind the nape of the neck, the face, the spine, the neck, the thorax, lungs, heart, abdominal wall, gastrointestinal tract, kidneys and urinary bladder, the long bones, the hands and feet, the placenta, umbilical cord and amniotic fluid We look for chromosomal defects that is soft markers and if there is multiple pregnancy then abnormalities pertaining to them. So what are the soft markers for chromosomal abnormalities? Thick skin that means skin fold behind the nape of the neck is thick that is one major soft marker. Short arms or legs means the long bones are short. Then the bubbles in the brain that we call as choroid plexus cis. Absent or small nasal bone. Dilatation of the pelvis that is the basin of the kidneys. Arsa that means abnormal course of the right subclavian artery. Ecogenic bowel that means calcification like bowel appearance, white spots in the heart but that is what we call as ecogenic intracardiac focus, mild ventriculomegaly that means the ventricles of brain are slightly dilated. Now when we see any of the soft marker, we see how significant it is that means there is something like likelihood ratio. This is known for each soft marker which will tell us how likely is the presence of that soft marker indicative of a chromosomal abnormality. That means how significant it is that is known by likelihood ratio. Then we have a look at the placenta and cord conditions. We look at the location of the placenta. Is it covering the mouth of the womb or is it within 2 centimeters from the mouth of the womb that is the cervix. This is called as placenta previa or low lying placenta and it is important because it has a risk of bleeding per vagina. Then we have a look at the features of morbidly adherent placenta which can cause excessive bleeding at the time of caesarean operation. We also look for any extra separate lobe of placenta which we call as succentious. If it is present, we specially remember to take it out at the time of normal delivery or at caesarean section. We have a look at the abnormal insertion of the cord or whether a vessel is running over the mouth of the womb which again causes risk of bleeding. We look at the number of vessels in the cord. Normally there are three vessels. If one is missing we call it two vessel cord or single umbilical artery. This can be associated with congenital heart anomalies. So we look for them in the 2D echo, fetal 2D echo or it can cause fetal restriction. So in subsequent scans we look, have a look at the growth parameters. 